What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a, a free general collective reading for Sana, well, not collective, free general reading for Sana Cancer. This can resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. There's millions of millions of people in the world, a ton of cancer, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I got a couple downloads in for the sign of cancer, so I'm going to share them. I um, love and appreciate all you guys. Just saying we're at 11,000. I can't remember. Um, but 225 or something like that. So I'm, I'm sorry, 11,425. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. Uh, TheBomb.com. Uh, you help support a single mom of two kids income stream, so I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay. <clears throat> So the channel message I received was um, a cancer judge, a cancer nurse, and a cancer esthetician are about to get huge wake-up calls soon. Now, anybody doesn't know esthetician, they work in the beauty industry. Um, um, I heard the cancer esthetician, someone is about to steal from them in a huge way. Um, the cancer judge, they are about to get a huge wake-up call about um, specific information, criminal information in their city. They didn't think they were going to make a specific ruling, but they are about to soon. Masculine cancer energy. That's what I heard. Um, I didn't hear any specifics on the, on the nurse. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So we have three energies in here. You could be these people or somebody connected to these people. Just because you're a cancer, if these aren't you, it could be somebody you're connected to, okay? So it's a cancer nurse, a cancer esthetician, i.e. working in the beauty industry, and then a cancer judge. Um, so the cancer esthetician, i.e. working in the beauty industry, somebody's about to steal from this cancer esthetician very soon. So it doesn't sound like it's happened yet, cancer esthetician, but it sounds like it's about too soon. That's really terrible, and I'm so sorry about that. Cancer judge, um, something... It sounds like you, Cancer Judge, you're about to get some kind of very important information on something. Some It sounds like huge criminal information on something in your city, regarding your city. I heard it's going to make you, cause you to make a ruling that you never thought you were going, going to make. So it sounds like it's huge information regarding a situation or situations in your city. Whoever you are, Cancer Judge, I feel you live in an urbanized area or you or you work in the ur urbanized area. I don't feel it's like a ruralized area. I feel it's a very urbanized, cityized area, Cancer Judge. Um, but it's it's something, it sounds like it's something huge. And it sounds like it's about to happen soon. If that resonates for you, Cancer Judge. Um, however that resonates. And like I said, I haven't heard anything specific on the Cancer Nurse while they're getting a huge wake-up call. So um, you plug... If you're the cancer nurse, you plug it in, how it resonates. Maybe I'll hear something further in here. Spirit messages you have the sign of cancer. The sun reversed, the devil reversed. I heard get one more. Spirit messages you have sign of cancer. Okay, what two came out? Nine of Pentacles upright. Six of six of swords reversed. The cancer esthetician, it will be someone they least expected. It will take them for a loop. And it will be a very, very, very large amount of money. For some cancers, estheticians, this will be a family member. For some, it will be a so-called friend. Oh, my God. So, a cancer esthetician, I'm pulling you in very, very, very strong. Very strong. So, I feel you might watch my, um, my readings. 
And I know it's been about three months since I've done sign readings because I was told from the spiritual realm not to do them um, until I got the green light to do them. I got the green light for the spiritual realm to do them. Um, so I'm back now, but I'm pulling you in very strong. So you work in the beauty field in some shape, form, or fashion, very professional. I feel you probably hold a license or licensures. Um, but for some of you guys, I heard it's a family member is about to steal from you. For some, it's a so-called friend. So like frenemy energy, but um, I heard it's going to be a very, very, very large amount of money. So, I mean, I don't feel this is like small claims court. If you take them to court, I feel it's something more than that. I mean, it's a very, very, very large amount of money. And it's somebody you're about to least expect about to do this. Um, so I feel you trust them. I feel you trust them. And I feel they know you trust them. If this resonates for you. Um, wow. So sun reversed. Um, you're going to be unhappy about this situation. Devil reversed. Um, you did not sense the toxicity of this person. You trusted this person or people. For some, it could have been group working together together to steal from you. Nine of Pentacles upright. I feel they're about, I heard it was going to be a very, very, very large amount of money. This is a money I feel they're about to steal from you, Cancer Esthetician. A very large amount of it. Um, it's pulling up and the throw is Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like great fortune in the um, Kipper. Ten of Pentacles is. So, I mean, it's a large amount of money. It's a large amount of money. And then Six of Swords reverse, they're not not—they're not going to give you the correct information. They're just, I mean, they're going to lie to you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to steal this money behind your back. Um. Oh, my God. For some, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn, possibly. Maybe that's the Thief or Thieves, possibly. Um, or you could have Leo or Caps in your chart. If um, you're dealing with the Leo or Caps or you have Leo or Caps, it could have Leo or Caps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts. This Cancer Judge is about to be a huge, huge, huge game changer in their city soon. About to learn tons of information soon. Tons. From people they would have never expected to learn it from. It's about to make it's about to start a series of chain of events. One specific ruling they never thought they would do and create other series of chain of events. To hunk to hunker down the crime. Oh my gosh, I'm pulling you in very strong too, Cancer Judge. Holy crap. Okay, so Cancer Judge, um, you're. it sounds like you're about to learn, it sounds like you're about to get information from a ton of people. I mean, a ton of people. Something is go crazy is going on in your city or it already has. Uh, for some of you, it might have already has, uh, already had, and some it's, it's about to. But the information flow sounds like it's about to come into you. I feel maybe from the police force or from detectives or from members of the city and society and the community, uh, or maybe a mixture of all these, um, however that resonates. But however that resonates, um, I heard it's about to cause one specific ruling you never thought you would do, but you are about to do it. But that ruling is going to create like a trickle effect and a uh, domino effect for other series of chain events to help combat crime. It sounds like crime has gotten out of control in your city or it's about to. However, that resonates um, for you, Cancer Judge, but I think you're having a wake-up call or you're about to have a wake-up call that it the crime has gotten crazy. Um, and so that's why you're about to do this one specific ruling and then create series of chain events for other huge things, I think, to help combat crime in your city. Um, I heard you're a masculine cancer judge. You could have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hayward, Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, masculine cancer judge. But I will say kudos to you because um, that's really beautiful energy. It really, really is. Uh, maybe you watch my channel. Maybe you don't. Maybe somebody connected to you watches my channel. I'm not sure, but there's a reason I'm pulling you in. Um, kudos to you. Kudos to you because... Um, it, it takes people in positions of high authority with non-abuse of power to make power play moves like this, to better their community and their society, and to stand up for um, the people, to stand up for the people. And 
So my hat's off to you, sir. My hat's off to you, whoever you are, because um, it sounds like the city needs it. It sounds like the city needs it. And I'm serious. I mean, we're pulling sun reverse, devil reverse. I mean, there's, th there's theft. There's theft of this cancer esthetician, I'll tell you that. I feel for you, cancer judge, I think you're about to possibly get information on theft. Um, I think you I think you are. And I think the information's been held from you. I think it's about to make you unhappy because we got happiness reversed. And this could be enlightenment reversed. So I feel for some of you cancer masculine judges, you didn't, maybe you wasn't fully tuned in on this situation or maybe you were lied about the situation. Because to me, this could be holding back, blocking information or being lied to about a situation. So I feel it could go both ways. You all have to plug in your own individual situation, however it resonates. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. This cancer judge is about to get on it in a huge way. And the arrest of one particular person recently has given this cancer judge a huge wake up call. Okay. I heard this cancer judge is about to get on it. You cancer masculine judge. I'm pulling you in so strong. I heard you're about to get on it. You're about to get on it. Um, and the arrest of one particular person recently has really given you a wake up call, a bazinga moment, a light bulb moment, something like that. So whoever that one particular person is in your life that has recently been arrested, um, only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug um, that person in, however they resonate, but it's somebody that has recently been arrested in the universe. So whoever that is, um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Cancer Masculine Judge. Um, okay, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Spirit messages you have sign of cancer. A particular cancer masculine is about to call back a lawyer's office very, very soon and give the real truth. They severely lied to this lawyer's office in the past. They are about to reveal it. Their plan in the past did not work out the way they thought it was going to work out. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so I'm pulling in at least four people in here. The three people at the beginning and then you, Cancer Masculine. Um, if this resonates for you, Cancer Masculine, apparently you have had contact with the lawyer's office in some shape or fashion in the past, whoever you are. Um, but I heard you're about to call back this lawyer's office soon and give the real, real, real truth. You had some kind of, it sounds like some kind of sneaky plan in the past, just to be for real, for real with you. It sounds like it was some kind of sneaky plan. Um, but it, I heard it didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out. So you're about to call back and give the real, real, real truth. So it sounds like the truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God energy. And I'm serious about that. Uh, this cancer masculine knows it is for the best, for sure. Things have gotten too, too out of control in many aspects. They know it's best to tell the truth. Okay, Cancer Masculine, holy crap. Okay, so I, I heard you know what's smart to call back and tell the truth. Um, for some of these, for some of you Cancer Masculines, it might be a timeline. So I, I say that because I it's, I feel urgency with this message. I feel urgency. I feel you know you need to do it soon. You know you need to call this lawyer's back office back soon because I feel there might be a timeline here in some shape, form, or fashion. And I'm serious. Um, whoever you are, whoever I'm pulling in, but... I heard you know it's smart to call back and basically tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so, so help you God, because something has gotten way out of control in some shape, form, or fashion. Something has. It sounds like you had some kind of sneaky control, um, sneaky strategic plan in the past to prevent something or control something or something of that nature, whoever you are, cancer masculine, dealing with this lawyer's office, but it didn't pan out. So now... Something has spurred and created a series of chain of events to get out of control in some shape, form, or fashion. So, you know it's smart to call back this lawyer's office and tell the truth and nothing but the truth to help you God to kind of balance the scales with like Libra and balance energy here because you lied in the past. 
um, and you know it's smart. Um, because I heard basically, you know it's smart to tell the truth because the truth's going to come out anyways. It definitely is going to come out. This would be a very smart move. Okay, I heard it definitely is going to come out. This would be a very smart move. Okay, so Cancer Masculine, I heard it's, um, it would be smart to call them back. It would be smart to call them back and tell the truth because it's going to come out anyways. Whether you tell them the truth or somebody else tells, tells them the truth, it's going to come out. Um, so wouldn't you rather be um, upright in this situation than be the liar, you know, known as a liar? That's the way I look at it. But you plug it in, how that resonates. Um, you are Cancer Masculine and you have... It sounds like you have contacted a lawyer's office in the past um, for some reason, but you're about to recontact them back. Um, how that resonates in your life, Cancer Masculine. You can have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter charts, if that res resonates for you. King of Cups reversed, Three of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. A cancer nurse is about to find out an Aries nurse, feminine nurse, is pregnant soon. But they're about to find out who the baby's father is. It is about to create a series of chain of events. And this cancer feminine nurse is about to make a phone call she never thought she would make. It's about to create negative series of chain of events for this Aries feminine nurse. Oh my God, whoa, what is going on in here? So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God, um, co-workers, co-workers is what I just heard. It is about to piss a Scorpio off in a huge way. This cancer feminine nurse knows this, but she is about to do it. She doesn't care. Oh my God, whoa. Okay, so two nurses. Maybe you're the nurse I was pulling in earlier, cancer nurse, uh, with the wake-up call energy, possibly. Um, two nurses. It's an Aries. I'm sorry, cancer fem nurse. I think you were the primary nurse um, that I was pulling in here earlier, but you plug it in how it resonates. And an Aries fem pregnant nurse. Um, it sounds like y'all work together in the same site, facility, company, building, etc., cetera, et cetera, unit, etc., 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 Sounds like you work together, but you are a cancer femme nurse, ma'am, and then you work with this Aries femme pregnant nurse, uh, her co-worker energy. Um, but I heard you are about to find out who the baby's fa real father is um, of this pregnant Aries femme nurse. Um, and I heard once you find out, you're about to make a very important phone call. I heard it's going to piss off a Scorpio masculine in a huge, huge way. You know it's going to, but... Um, you're going to do it anyways, whether it pisses him off or not. So I feel the real father energy is a Scorpio masculine. Because why would a Scorpio masculine get pissed off about this situation if he wasn't really the father of the baby bump? Um, for some, it could be the father. It could be her actual father or grandfather. Um, or maybe it's a boss. I don't know, but I don't feel boss energy. I feel it's personal side. This Scorpio masculine is personal side to this Aries fam. And I'm serious. I feel I heard the real father. So I think somebody's hot. She was hiding or was hiding who the real father is. And now the real truth's coming out. But it's some kind of, you, you knew something or know something that is important that you're about to call somebody and say something about. Now, whoever you're going to call cancer fam. Um, I heard it's going to piss off this um, Aries fem, pregnant Aries fem nurse, but you don't care. And it's going to piss off this Scorpio masculine, but you don't care. I think the Scorpio masculine is the baby father. And I'm serious about that. But you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my gosh, Cancer Fem. It is definitely the smart move, Cancer Feminine. Get you out of this mess. Oh my God. I heard it's definitely the smart move. Get you out of this mess. So whoever you're going to call and relay this information of who the baby's father really is. Um, it's going to get you out of this, Cancer Fam. Now, I don't, I may, be, I think this person might be in a third party or a sneaky link or a situationship or something. Maybe you're going to call the husband or the committed partner, or maybe you're going to 
call somebody else. I mean, I'm not sure, but somehow whoever you're going to call is going to get you out of this. Um, somehow, yikes, this sounds messy. This sounds messy. You plug it in however this resonates, Cancer fam. This sounds messy. Oh, my Lord. But you're both nurses and I feel you both work together. Her co-worker energy. Um, oh, my Lord. King of Cups reversed, three of, cups, three of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. A Cancer Feminine has lost all respect for Scorpio Masculine. All respect. They are about to make this known very, very, very publicly, very soon. A huge frauder and a thief. Oh, my Lord. Cancer Femme, I'm, throw, I'm pulling you in very strong. Um, I don't know if you're the esthetician or you are the nurse or you are somebody else. You plug it in however it resonates. For some, I feel you only plug the messages in that resonate for you. So if you're the cancer nurse and this message resonates for you, you take it. If you're the cancer esthetician and this message resonates for you, you take it. If you are somebody else and this message resonates for you, you take it. But some, Cancer's reading is pulling in Scorpionic masculine energy. Very strong. I'll tell you that. Very strong. Heavy water sign energy. But whoever this is to you, Cancer Feminine, it's a Scorpio masculine. I heard you know they're a frauder and a thief. And um, you're about to make it very public and very well known. Um, so uh, however you're going to make it public and well known, I'm not sure. But I heard you have lost all respect for them. So I think it's come out very public that they're a fraud and a thief. And I think you're about to help it make it come very public they're a fraud and a thief. Now, however you help it make come public, everybody has their own personal power. Everybody's a manifestor of their own destiny. So however you do this, only you know your story, not anybody else. But this is your Scorpio masculine you have lost all respect for, fraud or thief. Um, very ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. So I don't think they ever invested anything into you. I don't think they ever really um showed any emotions or love or time or effort etc towards you um because they're reversed there and then um no heartbreak of the situation uh you're very unemotional towards this scorpio masculine because you know they're a fraud and a thief very i mean two unemotional cards here towards this uh scorpio masculine and i'm so serious about that wow cancer fam holy crap I don't blame you. I, to be honest, I don't blame you if this resonates for you. Um, I feel you could be the esthetician or the nurse or some other occupation or some uh, somebody else. But I don't blame you. I mean, Lord, they're showing up ungiving, unlo unloving, unkind towards you. With you are not heartbroken over the situation and you're unemotional about it. Because they show up very ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. Yeah, I don't blame you. Lord. All right, let's pull some tea leaves. Um, if you know they're a frauder and a thief, um, I wonder if the, if they're in jail or you're about to make a call to put them in jail or maybe they just got out of jail. Um, everybody's on different time and life paths, but somehow you know they're a frauder and a thief. So for some of you guys, I feel they might have just got out of jail or they're about to go to jail or something of that nature. Um, there's a reason you know. They're, and I heard it's, it's about to go very public and you're about to help it go public. So if you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for sign of cancer. Seahorse, family matters, hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Seahorse, family matters. A particular cancer is about to take leave soon, a staycation, to really spend time with their family and focus on themselves. Well, this is a great one, Cancer. If this resonates for you, whoever you are, you can be masculine or feminine. To me, it goes with both of these, um, whoever you are. 
heard you're about to take a staycation soon. So um, you work in the 3D, uh, you're about to take some PTO time, pay time off time, um, or vacation time, however your company does it. Some does it all in one lump, some does it separately. So PTO or vacation time or however that resonates in your company, you're about to take some pay time off, some leave time for, uh, I heard a staycation. So, you know, you're not going to travel very far. If you do travel, I don't feel it's going to be very far, but I heard it's going to, um, it's for you to spend time with your family and to focus on you, self-care for yourself. So family matters. Maybe you, um, maybe you're going to do appointments, excuse me, maybe you're going to just spend some quality time with your family. Maybe you're going to take care of things around the house. Um, however that resonates, but definite staycation energy here because um, the hammock is taking a vacation physically or mentally. Um, it's to spend primarily spend time with your family and to focus on yourself. So self-care energy here as well. That's really beautiful energy. Um, cancer, if that resonates for you. Maui is about to become very significant for one cancer. Significant pictures are about to become very significant for one cancer. Okay, I heard Maui is about to become significant for one particular cancer and significant pictures are about to become significant for one cancer. So um, it could be pictures of you or somebody you're connected to, some kind of picture energy, um, and Maui. So I don't know if you're... you're maybe planning on traveling to Maui or you have traveled to Maui or somebody's about to converse with you about going to Maui or they're wanting to go to Maui, but some kind of Maui energy, um, however that resonates. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. Love you guys so much and namaste.